After a 100-degree day at Denver International Airport on Sunday, thunderstorms popped up in the evening. 51 flights had to get diverted to other airports, many of which ended up in Cheyenne, Wyoming. NBC News reporter Tom Costello happened to be on one of those flights. The captain on board our United Airlines flight said he had never seen wind shear this bad going into Denver. 80 miles per hour, the alarms were going off in the cockpit. So you get into a 30, 40, 50 knot wind shear environment or headwind or turbulence of that kind, it's like a bucking bronco in some cases. Nine News aviation expert Greg Feith says wind shear is one of the most dangerous weather conditions a pilot can face. It's a sudden change in wind direction or wind speed or both. He says a pilot landing at DIA with thunderstorms nearby can feel the wind change in three different directions in less than three seconds. Quick and decisive decisions had to be made on Sunday over Denver. That's what pilots get paid to do make those decisions in the best interest of safety. That's why they divert, that's why they go around. Uh, I, I am truly sorry for all this, but safety is paramount here at United Airlines and that's, that's what we're going for. Fife says storms don't even have to be very strong to create severe wind shear, and commercial planes are now equipped with sophisticated wind shear detectors. Costello's trip took an extra four hours, but he finally made it to Denver safely. But again, you're at the mercy of the weather, and that's why patience on the part of a passenger is so important. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News. The sunset was pretty. <laughs> the extreme heat may have also played a role in the slow operations yesterday. The hotter the air is, the more difficult it is for planes to take off. But DIA does have the longest commercial runway in the country at 16,000 feet. That's more than three miles long.